Welcome to this tutorial on how to create two separate terrain models from one survey fieldbook file. What we're like taking a look at here is we've got two surveys, uh, intersection on the east side and a little bit of a corridor on the west side here. And they're all in one survey fieldbook file. And you'll see that their names here is Havana is the corridor piece here and Lima is the intersection. And if I was to go in here and create a train model, you'll notice that it creates a train model out of all the survey data. Even if I go into my uh, properties here and change the edge method to maximum edge length and set that edge length at say 300 feet, you're still gonna get at least one or two triangles that have to span between those two survey points and lines. So what I want to do is I want to create a train of just this area and it create a train of just this corridor. So I'm going to delete the overall terrain. And I'm going to create a selection set. And from that selection set, I'm going to create a terrain. And I'll start over here with the Lima intersection first. I'm just going to create a selection set. Once the selection set is created, what I'm going to do is go to my Explorer dialog box here. And on the field books category up here, I'm gonna do a control key, then right click. From the right click menu, you can see I've got an option to create a train model from field book selection set. I'm going to left click and accept that choice. What that did for me, as you can see over here, is created a train of just the Lima intersection. I cleared my selection set. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the uh, Havana Road corridor. Select all the points. Then again, from the field books option here, control, right click, and select create train model from field book selection set. Clear your selection set, and let's see what we created. If I go to my open roads model, and take a look at the uh, two train models I just created here. You got surface selection one, which I can go in here and change its name. So I'm actually going to change the uh, name of this one to Lima. And then for the second surface that I created, I'm going to call this Havana. And now I have the two surfaces that do not have a triangle connecting the two of them together. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial from EnvisionCAD and please visit our website, EnvisionCAD.com. Thanks for watching.